get to my next guest. He's an independent analyst here in Portugal. His name is Mr. Teixeira. Thank you so much for joining us today, Pedro. It does seem like it came a little bit of a surprise. We were expecting it, but the market wasn't. There was a very big yield movement at the same time. The market was at the lowest in three years. How do you explain this? Well, uh, this is a bit hard to explain based on the latest news. Uh, there hasn't been really anything new that would uh, provoke this uh, downgrading of the ratings. But if you look, uh, if you look back at the big picture, uh, you cannot uh, really criticize this downgrading. And, and certainly S&P in the report was saying that they're concerned of the ability of the government to bring the deficit down, but they're also concerned about investor reaction. Yes, well, um, it's, uh, and there's another issue, I think. It's the, the, the problem of the growth potential of the economy. This is, uh, the, growth, the low growth potential of the economy is putting a very big stress on the dynamics of the public debt. But more important than this, is uh, the problem of competitiveness that uh, that uh, decreases the potential of growth of the economy so it's bad for the public debt dynamics but it's even worse for the external debt dynamics because uh, it is exploding external debt is exploding even the in the the program that the government did uh, external debt was supposed to increase from 110% of GDP to 130% of GDP by 2013. Uh, Pedro, is there a difference though with Greece? Because it does seem that the main point is that actually Greece budgeted its budget numbers. Portugal, as far as we know, hasn't. No, it hasn't. We don't have this problem, thank God. But, uh, but we do have a problem of growth. Uh, and uh, so far as as we can tell, well, Greece seems to be starting to have this problem now, but it didn't have in the past. Whereas we are having this growth problem for the last 10 years. Yeah, so it's been, it's been a longer term problem. Pedro, are you concerned that the government is not going to take the austerity measures needed to tackle the deficit in time? Well, I'm concerned that the government seems to be in half denial in terms of the public accounts and is in total denial in terms of external accounts. So, and um, this denial of the government is creating political costs to doing reforms because people are not aware of the need to make reforms. And so the government is creating its own problems. Will the S&P cut downgrade then not be a wake-up call? It's all over the papers today. No, I hope it will be. I hope that at last it will be a wake-up call. Are we going to have any concrete measures announced over the last next couple of days? We know that the Prime Minister is meeting the main opposition leader today. Yes, well, uh, we all have, you, you showed some newspapers, they already show some measures that are supposed to be taken uh, very quickly. Thank you so much, uh, Pedro Brasa Teixeira there.